Happy Monday, T-Birds. Here's a message from the seniors about where they'll be flying off to, as well as some tokens of advice when it comes to applying to colleges. Auburn University, University of Alabama, and Eastern Carolina University. I've been accepted to UC Riverside, California State Fullerton, California State San Bernardino. I've been accepted to University of Indiana Bloomington, University of the Cumberlands, and waitlisted for Michigan State. Top five schools are UC Santa Barbara, UC Santa Cruz, UC San Diego, UC Davis, and Cal Poly Slow. I've been accepted to Cal Poly Humboldt, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, UC Irvine, UC San Luis Obispo, and UC Santa Cruz. Accepted to Cal State and University of Redlands. I've been accepted at Cal State Monterey and University of Pacific. I will be attending the University of Mississippi in Oxford, Mississippi. I'm going to UCR, UC uh, Riverside and computer science major. Michigan State if I get off the wait list, otherwise University of Indiana Bloomington. I will be attending uh, Cal Poly Humboldt, um, I've committed there for cross country and track. I'm going to South Dakota State University to play softball. Uh, next year I'll be attending Crafton Hills College and uh, San Bernardino Valley College. University of Redlands on a scholarship. I'm Cal State Monterey Bay. BYU Provo. Zach State to play football. Willamette University. Check, check, check what extracurriculars these co colleges offer. It's so important. For me, I personally look for what has an archery program and what has a tennis team because those are two of my big hobbies. And then check how good the majors is you're applying for. For chemistry, my major, both of the schools are within the top 50 because I want to guarantee that I can get a good degree that will provide for me far after I've graduated. Uh, start early in the admissions process and find someone credible to go over your admissions essay and admissions work. It's going to be a lot less stressful. You don't need to like decide on a major right now. People change their major at least three times, so no worry to have it like all right now. You, you'll get it eventually. <laughs> well, just pursue the things you're really interested in because that's ultimately what you'll be doing in college. And don't worry too much about where you're going to go either because any place you choose, you're going to end up having a good life, so. Oh, and also participate in spirit days because you only live once and they don't really have those in college. Um, your life is a story, so when you're living it, make sure you do all the exciting, interesting things. And uh, when you have to write about it for college, make sure that you make that interesting because you're an interesting person, so act like it. I would say just don't be boring. Fill your life up with events, and even if it's the most smallest event, just it's the most exciting in your life. It's not really stressed about school because the future will come, and just live in the moment. Start preparing for college now because if you prepare later, it's going to bite you in the butt, and uh, make sure to um, do a lot of clubs and get involved with the school. Uh, if you're genuinely interested in playing football or any sport in college, really talk to your coaches because that's what they want for you. Definitely ask for your letter of recommendations early so your counselor isn't all stressed out and especially the teachers as well because I'm sure they just get flooded with those. And definitely have somebody help and review your application before you submit them. Uh, focus on your grades because you're a student athlete and the student comes first. Biggest piece of advice I could give is tour your colleges. If you want to go out of state, especially, you know, even though money's tight, road trip, airplane, whatever you can do, college is like a home. It's going to be your community for the next four plus years. It could be longer than high school for some of you guys. So make sure you really connect with the people there. Um, find your home, find your place where you feel safe, you know, excited to learn. That's what's the biggest goal here for you guys. So. Good luck and I'm excited for you guys.